Good day to Miss. My name is Fun Mei Ting, and my matrix number is two eight five four two two. My partner is Mohammad Yasin bin Abdul Jafar. His matrix number is two eight five two nine zero. We are from Group Three, and today we would like to present about the iPhone thirteen review. The part of the design. The design for iPhone 13 are adopted smooth flat edge in order to improve the comfortable experience to the users. Besides of that, iPhone 13 also allocate with diagonal camera that be a new feature. iPhone 13 also come with a gorgeous colors such as midnight, starlight, blue, pink, and red. It is a durable design with ceramic seal to protect the internal part of the phone. The internal part of iPhone 13 provide a 15 baronet processor in order to give the best performance for the Apple users. For example, it provides the great performance of speed boosting, camera elevating, power optimizing, privacy protecting, and game charging chip. It also secure aircraft locks down personal info like your face ID, data, and contacts. It also more efficient, helping to deliver longer battery life. Besides that, it also have a long battery life, which can endurance up to 2.5 hours, longer than iPhone 12 with 3,227 mAh battery capacity. As a result, if we use iPhone 13 for video streaming, it can endurance about 8 hours and 15 minutes, web browsing about 13 hours 43 minutes, and 3D gaming about 7 hours and 28 minutes. The speed of charging are a little bit slow because it only has 20 watts over lightning and 14 watts over massive. With a 20 watt brake and lightning to USB C cable, we can charge 50% in half an hour. Fully charge in about 2 hours. If we're using that safe, we can achieve up to 15 watt charging speed. Using the safe, we can charge from 0 to 15% about 15 minutes and 18 fully charged in about 2.5 to 3 hours. There are various types of storage capacity such as 128 GB, 256 GB, and 512 GB. Improvement of iPhone 13 also can be seen at the cameras due to the white cameras that with 1.7 megapixels that come with the larger sensor in dual camera system, they are able to gain 47% more light for less noise and brighter result. The new features for this iPhone is image signal processor that is also called as the ISP and Advancement in Computational Photography. It is because it can improve color, contrast, and lighting for each subject in a group photo 
including in challenging conditions, making image more true to life as well as improve the night mood. Photographic styles also allow users to bring their personal photos preference to every image while still benefiting from Apple's multi-frame image processing. Preset and customize preference work across screens and subjects, and unlike a simple filter, intentionally apply the right adjustment to different parts of the photos to ensure the improvement elements like skin tones are preserved. My name is Mohamed Yassin bin Abdul Jafar and my metric number is 285290. The other feature of the new update in iPhone 13 is the video department and it is called cinematic mode. So there is a lot of talk about what it is exactly and what it is good for. It is getting another new mode added to the camera. Now we have portrait mode photo, regular photo, regular video and then now cinematic mode. When I saw the iPhone was making cinematic mode just from the name, I got really pumped because I like to advocate for starting to make video on your smartphone and the iPhone has already the best quality video in any smartphone for a while. I was thinking, okay, it's going to be the best way for the creator to have the most control over their video and make better stuff for their YouTube channel. Okay, I knew this is not a Hollywood camera replacement. Let's be realistic here. But yeah, cinematic mode for a YouTube creator sounds great, right? Well, first, cinematic mode is shooting Dolby Vision HDR and it's doing constant processing to add the fake blur behind the subject. It is like portrait mode, but for every frame. That is a lot of processing. So it is limited and completely locked to 1080p with 13 frames per second. Next the fresh new software. The most impactful new feature to me has been the focus mode and the new notification. So even though they are no way near as good any smartphone but I really happy with the improved notification organization here. And the focus mode are really uh, nice too. I do have do not disturb mode. I have home and work of course a sleep mode. And the feature that feels absolute smartest is the live text feature which now we find text in image and let you click on text copy and paste it and take action. Finally, the pricing. The price 
starts from 3,899 for 128 GB followed by 4,099 for 256 GB and 529 for 512 GB. And that is for the review on iPhone 13. I hope this review will help you for getting more information about this iPhone. Thank you.